What's it called? A little ditty entitled King Philip of Spain's Round. Or if you want to have a drink, twist his arm harder. Eh? Twist his arm harder. No? No. no. <laughs> used to go well at the Globe. Where are the others? I don't know, Sir George. Ten past four. It's always ten past four. What do you mean? Stock were needed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, honey. I've been practising. What on earth for? But my parry's a bit weak, see? <coughs> Steady. Yes. So, mustn't get rusty. Francis, put it away. Watch me lightning repost. <coughs> Fast as that 200 years ago, I might have died in bed. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. Now, where's the white lady? Could be in the cellars having a quiet moan. <coughs> no, I wasn't. I was sobbing. What for? I can sob if I want to. Screw the place that all I care. Now, may I have your attention, please? <clears throat> now that the house is up for sale, we face the possibility of people. I think it's scandalous after 20 years of peace and quiet. We have been very fortunate. Far more fortunate than many other. Uh, Quite. I know. I mean, look what happened to the mad monk of Ludham Manor. Who? What happened? I pulled the place down and built a sewage farm. Oh, poor chap. Well, why doesn't he move? <laughs> Who'd have him? <laughs> well, I'm glad that Motley's for sale. I, I like people in the place. It, it, it's interesting and it gives us something to talk about and it's fun if any of them can see us. Fun? Pop-eyed idiots always glaring at you and then scampering off. Yes, it's most embarrassing. Fish hooks. You try to be seen. Remember John Longstaff, Fanny? Uh, John who? Longstaff? Uh, no. Yes, you do. 1920s, tall, thin fellow with a banjo and spots. I remember the banjo. You, she used to follow him everywhere, even into the bathroom. How dare you? Poor lad nearly passed out when he saw her. He would have drowned if I hadn't pulled the plug out. I pulled the plug out. <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! All right, all right, I'm sorry. Come back. <sighs> if we please proceed. Fanny, what do you think about it? Does it matter who pulled the plug out? What? Oh. What do you think about people? Oh, yes. Well, uh, I think it's been uncommon dull with no people about. Uh, I suppose you like being walked through? Not much. Well, I can't stand it. Well, nobody likes it. What do you think, Matt? Oh, I reckon it depends on the people who buy the place. I mean, they could be all right. Well, if they weren't, we could, we could put them off, couldn't we? Put them off, eh? Aye. Any suggestions? We could write something on the walls. <laughs> I wonder what she had in mind. Something quite nice. Of course. A poem, perhaps. A plea with a touch of melancholy. <gasps> we are the ghosts of Motley. We're British through and through. But please don't come and live here. Or we'll make a ghost of you. Oh. No? No. What about a nice little notice, then? Trespasses will be haunted. Always play the fool, aren't you? Well, I am a fool. It's my job. So, Humphrey, this is Lord, you see. Europe? Uh, no, he's in rubber. Huh? Rubber. The plantations. And Teak. He was in Teak as well, I think. He died out there, knelt on. Knelt on? Yes, by an elephant. They say it was very quick. Oh, the elephant? No, the accident. Oh, yes, I think it would be. We've seen that before, haven't we? Yeah, he looks after the place. It's sound, I can assure you. Sound as a bell. And 
And uh, all this panelling's original. Oh, that'll have to come out. Huh? Well, we'll gut the interior and petition. New doorways, new passageways, lock it up here, open it up there. Tom, I've finished, you won't know the place. <laughs> I don't. You, you think I'm a vandal, don't you, Mr. Gudgeon? Well, there are dozens of these old places, falling to bits. Nobody wants them. Well, this one will be saved. Yes, I suppose so. Still, it won't be the same. Outside it will. Well, almost. Of course, those chimneys will have to go. But there it is, a piece. There, and I saw. Oh, word, it's cold in here, isn't it? This is like a tomb. The BBC won't like that. BBC? British Banana Company, Research Division. Oh. People I work for. I thought for a moment you meant... Uh... Ah! Now, that's splendid. Yes, isn't it? It's Jacobean. Oh, I don't care if it's Anglo-Saxon. It's just the place for the lifts. Hey, the white lady spends hours on them stairs. Oh, no worm. Hello! <laughs> oh, the priest hole. Oh, no, it isn't. You'd never get a priest in there. <laughs> Leave it alone, don't touch it. Look at that. What's that? Oh, it's an old sword hilt. Put it back. What's the matter, Bob? Well, that ought to fetch something. It'll fetch something, all right. But it belongs to the house. Yes, it does. Boo, 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 boo. Listen, yeah. we'll split anything we get for it. But it isn't ours. No, it isn't. Well, nobody knows it was there. I do. Well, that's hardly the point. Yes, yes, it is. You shut up. Look, if nobody knows it was there, who's to know where we found it? You're a villain. He's a villain. Well, that's true. Of course, he's true. I don't think it's we ought to have it. Look, you want to sell this place, don't you? Not yes, to you, he course. doesn't. All right, then. Right. Let's go and have a look at the long gallery. Well, it's upstairs. Good. Get the others. We're in dire straits. Dire straits? Very dire. Hurry. Oh, dear God. I... It takes more than three of you. Oh, yeah. It's enough. The long gallery. I thought it'd be longer. I am a spirit of Francis up your... So we can make three nights at long, sis. Doom to walk the earth. Ah, now we can leave this panelling in. Doom to walk the earth. Oh, why can't you see me, you silly little man? Buddy, what you want is all in the great hall. We see he says we're in dire straits. <laughs> Stab me, fighters. All right, where to now? Oh, the East Street. All right. And it's got to go back. What? Bad Lord William saw the old. Who's bad, Lord William? He had the largest private collection of thumb screws in Great Britain. Built his own gallows on the roof. Died of food poisoning. Food poisoning? Shh. Food poisoning? Yeah. The cook put Emlock in his soup. They thought that was the end of him. Well, it was in a way, of course. Then he found his old sword, see? Got quite attached to it and came back and he haunted the place. He'd float around, waving it at people. So they broke it put the hilt in the panel, and that stopped him. As long as that sword hilt was shut away. Shut away? So was Lord William. But now that it's been taken out. <laughs> He's been released as well. And he won't be in a very good mood after 300 years. No, he wouldn't no, be, would he? But he... Us. No. He can own anyone. What's happening? Who are you, you old git? My name's Uproar. You lying dog. I am Uproar. And confusion. I am General Sir George Uproar, Knight Commander of the Order of St. Michael and St. George. And I trouble you. You'll for... not trouble me. I promise you. Your name, Custard Face. Bodkin. Bodkin. Oh, I have a bodkin. How sharp are you, Bodkin? Uh, not, not sharp, my lord. I'm blunt. To be blunt is to be to the point. Mm. How say you? A blunt and pointed bodkin. Impossible. <laughs> and I thought I was good at puns. Uh, leave him be, you great bully. I have you flogged raw. Oh, no, Lord William, please don't flog him raw. <laughs> uh, Fanny's impulsive, but he means well. I am master here. Yes, of course you are. But I'm... It must have been a terrible strain for you, cooped up in the woodwork all these years and cut off in your prime. <laughs> you need time to get used to things, time to uh, settle yourself. Make yourself at home. I am at home. Yes, of course you are. Who lives here? Nobody. Scullion, I saw them. They don't live here. 
No. But if they have their way, scores of people will. Right. They'll change everything. You, you won't know the place. You won't like it, my lord. Be all brightly lit and noisy. You'd be far better off someone else, wouldn't he? I think Absolutely. So. If they have their way, eh? <laughs> then they shall not have their way. What do you mean? They shall be silenced. You can't do that. Why? Right. Well, we're going to have some lunch for you looking around this afternoon. Very promising. <laughs> very promising indeed. Yes, very. Yes, we'll stop at the cellars. Cellars. <laughs> cellars. I shall entomb them. No. They are doomed. Doomed! <laughs> must have had a very unhappy childhood. He's got to go back. But that man has a sword hill. Besides, we go on the panel. To think that he is a relative of ours. You ought to be pleased. You wanted the house empty, well, he'll do it for you. I draw the line at killing people. Uh-huh. I thought you were a general. Um, we mustn't oh. quarrel now. United we stand, ain't it? We must meet this challenge together. That's it. A challenge. Eh? A duel. You must challenge him to a duel. I see. Yes, and when you win, Lord William will be banished. Where to? Um, the attics. We never go up there. Splendid, yes. I'll, uh, I'll challenge him. There's just one tiny thing we've overlooked. Uh, well, it's such a trifle, I hardly like to mention it. Go on. What if I lose? You won't lose. Because I'd hate to spend eternity in the attic. Nonsense. You'll win. You're on form. You said so. All right. So Fanny gets rid of bad Lord William. What about the British Banana Company? If Wallace has his way, the place will be full of them. Bananas? We'll decide the rest of the campaign later. The defeat of bad Lord William is our first objective. Now, someone must deliver the challenge. I will. You think you can find him? No need. <laughs> I'd better when I've had a drink. I'm going to slaughter him. Slaughter him. Did you fight a lot of duels? <clears throat> Twelve. Thirteenth coming up. Mm. Did you win all of them? Well, not quite. I lost the twelfth. Why was that? I was drunk. Are you ready? Ready for anything. Ready for bed? Yeah. That's enough. No, it's not. For you. So I don't know, I reckon he pitched it from Sir George. He can't yeah, find Lord William, can he? He couldn't find a gooseberry bush. Hooray! Oh, yes, I can. I could fight any gooseberry bush growing. <laughs> oh, I'll never sigh or be sad. Oh, I'll never sigh or be sad. Why are there three of you bulking? You and your lightning repost. I hope you're going to like it in the attic. That's all I can say. Why are you being so nasty to me? I always thought we were supposed to be friends. What happened? This! Great guns! That's my best Napoleon! He's finished it! He's finished all of us! And Mr. Wallace and Mr. Gudgeon! And Lord William's due at any moment. Well, we'll have to say he's indisposed. Indisposed? He's sozzled! Get him in there, out of the way! Yeah, right. Come on. Come ah. on. Oh. Damn disgrace to the family name. Well, uh, <clears throat> the duel's off. What, sir? Yes. Fanny uh, Francis. Ain't well. The lily liver jackal. Ah. Who are you calling the living little jackal? Draw your sword. He's thrown at your fool. The head. noodle's drunk. <laughs> Have it. <laughs> It's a cow. To the attics with him. But he ain't forty yet. No need. The sot vanquished himself to the attics. No, oh, it's not. Do as I said. The bat. 
But that sword hilt belongs to Motley Hall, Mr. Watson. It's mine, you Nonsense. villain! Right, now then, let's go and have a look at the cellars. Oh, must we? Well, what's the matter? They're safe, aren't they? Oh, yes, they're quite safe. It's just that, well, I know it sounds absurd, but I saw something down there once. <laughs> saw something? What sort of thing? Well, I can hardly describe it. It was ghastly. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Tell me it's on ghost time. What are you playing at? Well, it wasn't my fault. He'd never seen me before. Oh, no, I've never heard anything like it. Ghosts, indeed. I tell you, I saw it. It, it moaned. I do hate being called an it. I saw something now. That couldn't have been You didn't have to moan, did you? I can't help it. It's a habit. Oh, look, is it really necessary to go down in the cellars? I... Of all the girls that are so oh, sweet. Get him out of the way, prop him up the wall. There's none okay. like pretty <laughs> Sally. She's the darling of my son. To the cellars. To the ethics. Follow. <laughs> that cellar door jams if a sudden draft catches. Yeah, and he's quite good at sudden draft. Every old house is supposed to be haunted. My firm converted Lollington Grange. Headless horsemen and white ladies, another dozen, they said. Ha! That's all the thing, myself. Don't. Don't. I'll tackle the beggar. It'd be quite handy with a sabre. <sighs> I remember the Battle of Omdurman. We're outflanked by the men. The right way you're going, we'll all end up in the attic. Charge, Charge all that right. Don't pull Charge! Right. Down the slope. Do it! <laughs> Put it away, fool. <laughs> so, another spirit for the attics. Ah! Miss. beheaded man and a hangman. What is the difference between a beheaded man and a hangman? None. They both get it in the neck. Ugh. Scullion! Violet! Patron! Well, don't just stand there. Get them other two out of the cellars. Come on, and fight, can't you? <laughs> You've got him worried, brothers. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh, we're trapped. But we need something to lever it with. He's right. Well, don't just stand there. Pull, pull! Stand still! I think I'm a fool? Need a lever! Huh? Let it be, you slave! Oh, 
Yes, yes. No. 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 We did it. I was supposed to fight there, Lord William, wasn't I? Who? <laughs> Another word out of you, Fanny, and I'll put you up in the attics. I didn't think you had it in you. I nearly had it in me several times. Oh. <laughs> Somehow I think we've seen the last of Mr. Wallace and the British Banana Company. I'll drink to that. Not if I can help it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suddenly feel very tired. Must be all this excitement, so if you'll excuse me and <clears throat> some letters to write. Letters? Oh, yes, to the Times. He's always writing letters to the Times. <laughs> Come along, Fanny. It's time you went to bed. <laughs> I let you down, didn't I? <laughs> Fish you. Oh, it's going to be a lovely evening. <laughs> oh, I should feel stiff in the morning. I wonder how funny you'll feel. Bodkin? Yes. You did very well. Yes, I did, didn't I? I'm proud of me. Thank you. 